Hello members of the 26th District, my name is Nathan Schlicker and I'm your State Senator. I'm here to talk to you today about what's going on in Olympia this week. Well what's happening is that the Senate is wrapping up its work on the bills that started Cereal. in the Senate. So by this Wednesday at 5 o'clock, if a bill hasn't left the Senate and been voted out, it's done. Generally speaking, because there are exceptions to everything in life. but. That's the big thing that's happening this week. So we're working hard to get bills out. Things like our transportation bills to improve the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, working on mental health issues, and other jobs related issues that we're trying to get done. But one of the big things that happened this last week was a lot of the education bills got heard. And I want to touch base with you on some of those. We worked on a number of them that had good ideas and some that weren't so good. Some that work to make sure the kids are reading by the time they leave third grade because you've got to learn to read so that for the rest of your days in school you can read to learn. And so I supported that bill, which was a good work on education reform. Additionally, I supported other bills that look at how we deal with failing schools when they're not progressing and making sure that we're funding them appropriately to help them achieve success for their students and for them into the future. But there were also some bad bills that came through that I want you to know about. Unfortunately, ones that looked at ways to try to say that teachers can be fired for really no reason at all, even when they're working hard to take care of our students and not basing it on performance standards. Doing simplistic things like putting letter grades on schools rather than giving you, the voters and the parents, the information and data which you need to make an informed decision about how your school is doing. And I encourage you to go to the School Board of Education's website and look at the Accountability Index. Amazing data, 24 data points per school uh, makes very useful information for parents like myself that are looking at my kids going to school soon. The other big thing that's going on right now is I'm working really hard with the Washington State Ferries Association or Washington State Ferries Group to uh, work on making sure that our ferries are adequately funded. Right now there's a proposal in the governor's budget to cut 6.2 million dollars worth of service. I think that's wrong. I think we need to find a way to fund the ferries adequately, that we need to make sure that service is maintained, and we're going to do that. And working with WSF, I found ways to find that savings. Additionally, I found ways to maybe make some additional savings. I'm going to be working on that. Because that's what we need to do. We need to use lean management to preserve the services that we have as our costs are going up with things like fuel and other issues. So I'm really excited about what we're doing down here. This is a big week. Please don't hesitate to call, email, contact us in any way. Come by and visit because we're on the floor almost all day. Additionally though, I encourage you to come out this Saturday to our town halls. We'll be doing them in all four communities and look forward to seeing you there so we can continue this conversation. Thanks again and see you soon.